Hey Medleyanaires, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today I wanted to give you all a little update on um, our homeschool progress and we are almost at the end of the year. I believe we have 12 more days left of school or something similar to that. Um, and I... So yeah, I've been trying to wrap up the school year this first semester of homeschooling has been definitely a learning process and I I've been using all free curriculum that are online the easy peasy all-in-one homeschool and the discovery k-12 um, website and as well as some supplemental things like for Spanish I've been using uh, free Spanish games online or something like that hopefully I can correct that if it's not right um and what else? And then for piano, we've been using Hoffman Academy, which is all free. Um, he's doing really well at the piano, so I may upgrade to the next level where he's learning the sheet music and I can actually print the sheet music and those things. But as far as that curriculum, I don't feel like it's working the best for us. Um, it, there is a lot that he has learned in this semester. However, I feel like um, it could be more hands-on. There's more things that would help him um, if it was hands-on. So I plan on doing some different curriculum. So I've been researching. I'm looking at a history curriculum called Knotgrass, and it seems really awesome. It's... Um, I'm going to do the America the Beautiful, so we'll start with American or U.S. history. And this is just the fifth grade level. I'm not skipping him up. They also have a lot of, um, what is it, political science and those types of things. But we're looking at America the Beautiful. For science, I've been looking at this switched on schoolhouse, and it seems pretty cool. It's pretty hands-on. Um, and for language arts, there's something called Write Shop, and there's also Easy Grammar. Easy Grammar is a very small course, but the Write Shop seems really interesting. It seems like it may be what I need to make sure to fill in those gaps, because with our local schools, they have not focused a whole lot on um, grammar. And so that's one of the um, holes that's missing in our curriculum is the grammar. For math, I'm looking at one called A Plus Tutor Soft, and I really like them. They're all online, um, but it has like like a tutor type of um, software, and so they do a free month. I plan on trying them out probably here in the next week or so, just so that we can see if this is what we want for next year. Um, or teaching textbooks, which is also a CD ROM, a CD form um, online pretty self um, what is it called what am I trying to say pretty easy for the child to do it all by themselves or Matthew C uh, Matthew C is the most expensive of the three so I have to really feel like it's gonna be the best in order to go with those um, I want to continue with personal finance except I'm going to probably move on to the Dave Ramsey um, and then there's also practicalmoneyskills.com. It's a free website for personal finance. Right now, I've been using the Discovery K-12. And over the summer, I want to have the children do the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace Junior. And so I'm going to be purchasing that kit. They have a kit that comes with a sibling. Um, so it's two kids included for $29.98. I'll be ordering that soon as well as the Act Your Wage board game. That'd be fun. We used to always do a lot of um, games on family game night, and we've really fallen away from that, so I want to get back to um, playing some different games. For Spanish, I've been looking at this one called Kids Speak, and it's quite expensive, but if it is helpful, then I'm going to use it. Right now, the free program I use is okay, um, but I'm probably missing a lot of stuff because it doesn't have just a go here 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 and here I'm just going on there and deciding what I want him to learn for the day and then we're gonna start orchestra next year they do have a summer program um, this is a homeschool orchestra and band 
So it depends on which instrument he wants to play, depending on if he'll do orchestra or band. But they have a summer program where I believe it's a week-long camp and he gets to come and try different instruments every day so that he can decide which instrument he prefers. So we'll be doing that over the summer. Um, and that's that brings me to summer, what I want to do. My oldest, my 11-year-old Sarai, and my 3-year-old Justice, he'll be four over the summer, they both have summer school throughout the month of June. And so um, I wanted to still do a, a light load for school because um, I really like the idea of having summer off and if if you're not behind then I don't feel a reason to actually have to do a lot of summer school but my plan like I said is once they're um, the older two are both home I'll do the Financial Peace University they say it's a four week program I'll probably stretch it out over um, six to eight weeks we'll see and then I looked up this, um, there's this kid, Caleb Maddox, and he has, I printed out his list of books, success books that he recommends for kids to read. Some of these are more teen age, so I'm not sure exactly how many books I'll require for them to read, but I really want them to read um, Keys to Success for Kids and um, another one of these. But these are some of the other ones on the list. He has Dotcom Secrets, the underground playbook for growing your company online, which is awesome, especially because both of my children have YouTube pages and um, could easily turn that into a career by the time they're 16. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens, The Success Principles by Jack Canfield, How to Get Where You Are. From Where You Are to Where You Want to Be. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I've read this a couple of times and I love it. It'd be nice if they had like a more teen version because I remember it being a little, a little bit boring but really interesting for me. How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, definitely need that. The Power of Self-Discipline. No Excuses by Brian Tracy. Mind Gym, an athlete's inner or an athlete's guide to inner excellence. So, yeah, we all know that athletic stuff is mostly in your mind. That your body will follow if your mind is strong enough. The ten times rule. A lot of us know about that. Um, if you do something so many times, you will actually get good at it. So this is the only difference between success and failure. You need to expect to fail. I like that. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I've definitely read that book. John Maxwell's Winning with People. Love John Maxwell and his leadership books. And The Positive Dog. This is one I haven't heard of. But I'm also going to put these on my reading list um, for the summer. So I would love to read these books throughout the summer as well. I've really been getting back into audiobooks. Um, my library has a free app. So I've been getting into those. So yeah, we will have a book to read over the summer. And we will have orchestra um, or band camp. My daughter is going to be doing volleyball camp because she wants to uh, try out for volleyball. I wanted to put them on a track team, but I'm thinking that that's not going to work. And that will be our summer. Um, of course, lots of fun, lots of different things. That's what I need to start um, making sure I'm planning for now is what fun activities, at least one big fun activity per month and then an outing a smaller outing every week like the park or something like that I mean our backyard is basically a park but you know everybody gets bored of their own backyard so we want to get out and do fun things and um yeah if you guys what ha what are you guys doing for the summer what are your plans for those of you who um, don't homeschool or homeschool some a lot of my homeschooling friends homeschool year round and they might just have a lighter curriculum during the summer but that, those are my plans um, and I hope this was somewhat interesting to you I do vlog a lot of our homeschool adventures on our vlog channel so make sure you check that out and I'll leave the link to our vlog channel and just see what kind of crazy craziness includes the life of a homeschooling mom 
And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you really think that someone could use this information.